Right now, protesters and police continue to line the street in front of the Lexington restaurant that's become a lightning rod for the past few days. Since the owner of the Red Hen asked White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders to leave last Friday night, people have been flocking to the city of Lexington. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant is live there tonight. Magdala, we saw one man being arrested at five, so what's happened since then? Well, right now, Washington Street has opened since then. It was closed for about an hour, and now traffic is coming through here. There are still a few protesters here. They're pretty much quiet, and across the street are people who are just here looking. The Red Hen was supposed to open about an hour ago for the first time since Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked to leave, starting a firestorm of political debate. But from the looks of it, the restaurant remains closed. Today, we learned the owner, Stephanie Wilkinson, resigned as executive director of Main Street Lexington, and in an email sent out to business owners today. Wilkinson resigned because of this past weekend's event and felt it was best for Main Street Lexington to succeed as she stepped down. All day, people traveling through the Commonwealth have stopped by to take pictures of the restaurant. Those here to boycott the restaurant say they want to encourage people not to eat here. I would say don't kick people out. I mean, this is a capitalist country. If you want their business, take it. If not, close your business down and go somewhere else. Well, I might not have done the same thing, but God works in mysterious ways. And I think, again, that this is to bring um, attention to the huge difference in how Charlottesville was handled. The man who threw manure at the building is charged with disorderly conduct. The police chief tells me they will be out here until everyone leaves. Now, we did call and reach out to the mayor, Frank, Frank Friedman, and he told us he wouldn't speak to us on camera, but he does encourage people to still come out here and visit Lexington. Live in Lexington, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.